Hi everyone and welcome to the SRH Hochschule Heidelberg or SRH University Heidelberg presentation together with my German University. We're going to talk to you about studying at our beautiful university located in Heidelberg, Germany. So just a little about me as your presenter, I also came to the university um, in 2015 to study in the International Business Bachelor program. Um, originally, I'm from the United States, and now I'm working in the international office to help international students who want to come and study with us. So the reasons why I chose the university as an international student, well, first of all, the city of Heidelberg is amazing, honestly. Um, the student life is great. That's because around 25% of the population in Heidelberg are students. So that means there's lots of activities, lots of discounts and things aimed at students specifically. And located in Southern Germany means that you get the chance to experience Germany. Um, you get a chance to go down and see Lake Constance. You can easily travel to France or to Switzerland where we are, easily get to Austria. So the location is really, really good. The job market is also great here. If you um, are interested in staying in the area like me um, and many of my classmates, then it's good for you to know that Heidelberg is located in the largest technology cluster, not only in Germany, but also in Europe. So there's lots of jobs here as well. And I also chose the university for our teaching style, which is known as the core principle. And I'm gonna go into that a little bit later on for you. So besides the international business and engineering program that Professor Dr. Leisenheimer is going to tell you more about, we do have a number of other programs in the areas of applied computer science or computer science degrees, engineering and technology, business degrees or therapy degrees. Since we are a university of applied sciences and a private university, we do charge tuition fees, which you can see on the screen here. And as an international student, we ask that you pay your enrollment fee and your first year of tuition fees before you um, start your studies with us. This gets you basically the letter that you need for your visa and reserves your study place. So characteristics of the university. Um, of course, I could give a lot of reasons why you should come and study with us, but I picked these out as I think the biggest benefits that I realized during my studies that I think are really important um, for international students to consider because it's not only where you go, it's not only what you study, but it's how you learn the material and what the benefits um, in the classroom are for you. So first of all, we have small groups at the university. Um, your classroom is around 20 to 25 people, and this allows you to have what we call contact hours with your professor um, because we do practical teaching and practical testing. So it's very important you can interact with your professor. Um, what do I mean by practical teaching and testing? Um, it's exactly how it sounds. As a University of Applied Sciences, we focus on the practical. So we do that from day one in the classroom with you. Um, you have to interact into uh, small teams. You have to interact um, working on projects um, and basically um, getting each other through the study material. We are very, very big on group work, which is a huge benefit for you because not only are you getting the interaction and learning the material, but you're learning a number of soft skills as well, like how to meet deadlines, how to work with different nationalities, how to lead teams, how to act in a support role. So all of these things are a benefit when you go into the real world because you already basically have been studying almost like a job. So basically you're studying as a job for two years. The last thing I'm here because a lot of students um, are interested in working during their studies and honestly most of the master's students do. There's a lot of global and international companies in the area that you can work for. So remember I said we were going to come back to the core principle? Well, um, when I was talking about working in those small groups, it's meaning that you are not only physically present in your class, 
but you have to be mentally present and really take ownership of your studies. So in the classroom, this activated learning means you're gonna do group projects. Like I mentioned before, you could do a flipped classroom where you become the teacher and are teaching um, the material to your, your classmates, maybe for one afternoon. Of course, the teacher is guiding you through that. Um, you might be doing case studies, or you could even work on project pitches with local companies um, in the area as well. So working on real projects and also presenting those results to um, the companies as well during your exams. What I really loved as someone who suffers from testing anxiety um, is our five-week block system. So essentially, every module that you have is going to be taught over five weeks. In the first week, you have the introduction to the material, and then you're working on these projects or case studies over the next four weeks. And in the fifth week, you have your exam. So you can see that it's very practical, and it forces you to work in these teams and really go in depth in the knowledge, just like you would in the real world. And the application process, I think, is probably very similar to most universities. Um, you do the application online. We check your documents. If something's missing, we let you know. Then we invite you to do an interview. Not for every program, but for most programs we do. At the end of your interview, if successful, we give you a pre-admission letter. This tells you um, how to pay your fees. Again, your first year of tuition plus the enrollment fee. Once that's paid, then you get your acceptance letter, which is your final letter, and you use this for the visa process or to know that your study place at the university is reserved. And I know a lot of people ask this question, so I just wanted to go ahead and get it out of the way. Um, what English do I need to study in one of the English programs? Um, what proof of English, sorry, do I need to study in one of the English programs? You can see on the screen here that we take the IELTS, the TOEFL, Duolingo, and other proof. By other proof, I mean something like a medium of instruction letter. This would be um, a letter or an indication maybe on your transcripts that you had taken either your high school or your bachelor fully in English, which means we could waive the need for an English test for you. If you're unsure if you qualify for that or not, you can still apply. And if we need further proof, we'll just let you know. But usually a medium of instruction is totally fine. And for most programs, we are looking around a 2.5 uh, GPA. I know for the international business and engineering, this is the minimum, the absolute minimum that you can have um, to apply for the program. Professor Dr. Leisenheimer will tell you more. But for the other programs at the university, um, we look for around a 2.5. A little lower might be OK if you've got some work experience. Maybe you've got a really good motivational letter. Maybe you've taken additional certificates. We look at you as a whole, everything that you've done. Finally, on here, this brings us to funding, because of course, it's very, very important. Um, you can find information about funding on our homepage directly. We offer scholarships not only if you're in financial need, but if you're someone who has done um, social engagement projects, um, someone with very high academic scores, um, and sometimes if you have special needs or special requests based on your personal situation, we offer those as well. So check out the homepage for those. You can also check out loan options for international students and also support for study abroad. Only for our business programs is the study abroad semester um, included in your course. For the other courses, it's not, but that doesn't mean you can't go abroad. Um, I'm not only saying this because I'm part of the international office, but I truly believe doing um, time abroad really, really shapes you. Um, both personally and academically. So we offer every student the chance to do at least their thesis abroad, and we do have financial support for that. Also on here, you can see um, the DAAD has a number of scholarships. And of course, 
And I cannot forget to mention the scholarships available on my German university as well. Check them out for all of their scholarship offerings and information on tuition funding and financial assistance in Germany. So thank you so much for listening to my part of the presentation. Um, if you have more questions, um, you can always get in touch with the university at study in Heidelberg at srh.de. If you want to speak with a student who's currently studying in the program that you're interested in, um, we are on Unibuddy. And of course, stay tuned for the upcoming presentation by my colleague, Professor Dr. Leisenheimer on the International Business and Engineering Program, uh, Master Program at SRH University Heidelberg. Thank you. So I'm going to share my screen now as well. Hopefully this works so you can see it. Yes, it's fine. Yes, we do. Okay, thank you. So welcome everybody from my side as well. Um, just a short introduction and uh, not because I'm so important, but it is quite typical for, for my colleagues as well, because as you can see, almost all of us, we have a track record of professional experience, which is really a benefit and um, I have to admit, I'm originally an engineer, and um, I was always thinking, uh, industrial engineers, they don't know really the economic part, and they don't know the engineering part. But within the 20 years of my experience, I have recognized, and I have to admit, that such a course that we are presenting today as an industrial engineering master degree, we can say, is exactly what is necessary in a company if you want to have a career there. Okay, so let me share with you some, some details about our faculty first. Our faculty is called School of Engineering and Architecture. You see the abbreviation. And um, what we have recognized and incorporated in our programs and in, in our, um, let's say, uh, uh, school uh, and, and the, le the lectures particularly, is that we have um, identified the change in the role of an engineer today. So as you can see here, more and more, it's not just the technical know-how, uh, more and more you have to be ready to uh, tackle the social and economic um, challenges as well in your environment. Um, also, if you have international and global uh, business, then that means recognizing this issue, you are benefiting from our, my experienced colleagues, from those professionals that not only have a, a, a very good uh, education, in, um, in technical or in economical universities, but also have um, a long uh, uh, time experience in the industry, in mostly in global industries. So studying international business with those kind of lecturers give you a, a firsthand impression of how management works in an international environment. And then, in order to be prepared now, as we, you have seen in our core program, uh, where we focus on competencies and not just only on knowledge, we make sure that you guys will develop those competencies that are necessary to not only survive, but to have a great opportunity to, in, a, as a, in a career in a company. So what does it mean now, especially uh, for this uh, program, International Business and Engineering? As you can see, the degree you will get at the end is a master in engineering that will not only consider the globalization yeah, within the, 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 the lectures you will have, but also um, will lead you to um, cross-border training, trading of goods and services, okay? Not, not lead you, but um, 
that is the globalization. And as we can see in our pandemic crisis, how sensitive uh, international uh, logistics are in such a globalized world. And then also what is even more important is that you will uh, learn and train also considering uh, cultural differences and the different political systems. For example, when I started to join management, I had teams located in India, Mexico, England, Germany, and Poland. Okay, so there are big cultural differences. And I had to learn this, let's say, by doing. But you guys in this kind of um, uh, like, um, course of international business and engineering will be faced exactly with those challenges that I had to learn on the fly. So I think I can uh, commit that this is a perfect uh, preparation uh, for your future uh, management jobs in global environment. And even now more actual and more important is that one key aspect in our in the engineering portion of international business is sustainability. Um, so we, you will learn how uh, you can improve the efficiency of your company. Uh, a plant has to improve the uh, electronic or electric uh, power consumption, and therefore you have to come up with an alternative uh, proposal. And this is what you will learn on the engineering on the engineering side. So how does it work? How can you join? Um, for sure, in order to get a master degree, you need to have a bachelor degree. Um, you can either join us with a Bachelor of Engineering or with a Bachelor in Economics, but the program will be slightly different. The only way, uh, without having a pre-course to be trained in the, let's say, missing portion um, uh, for, for that study program is if you join as an industrial engineer. Um, then you do not have to take the pre-course, which we will see in a minute. So as we have heard, you need a GPA of 2.5 and also a minimum of language proficiency that will be checked or that you have to show um, with the international, uh, let's say, ranking system like TOEFL or ILTS. And then if you, if you are a, a good candidate, in some cases also you will have to the, the opportunity to have an interview where you can ask questions and where we then finally decide if you can join or not. So that means if you are not an industrial engineer, um, you have to do a pre-course, a preliminary course that then in the overall time frame will be two years or four semesters. First semester will be this preliminary course, either business or technical, depending on your bachelor's degree. Then you have two semesters of classes, and the last semester will be a master thesis uh, with a duration of four months, which you can do within the last six months in here. And without a pre-course, as I said, as an industrial engineer, it will take just 18 months, including the master thesis. How does the pre-course look like? So in the case of um, business studies, so if you have a bachelor's degree in engineering, which is the majority of our students right now, then you get um, a deep insight with a lot of specialists of my colleagues in business theory, business law, marketing and sales, finance, and uh, even human resources and so on. And then you get uh, 30 credit points after those six months and you are allowed, allowed to join the main, the main course, the main program. We also offer that uh, pre-course for those who have an um, economic background, so bachelor in economics. And we put together a program where you get the, the, the baseline of engineering which starts with mathematics material science electrical engineering so which is a little bit physics constructive design and so on and um, 
you know, because you will have a master's in engineering at the end of the course, so you will need at least some kind of basic knowledge in the traditional engineering courses. And as you can see, we also have a language course in parallel uh, there, and uh, we offer also German. So for those guys of you, international guys who would like to proceed in Germany, I can strongly recommend to learn German, even if you are working for an international company, which we have a lot around. Uh, nevertheless, not all colleagues speak English. So, and um, I see that those guys, international guys who have, a, a, let's say, an, an, a solid German knowledge have much better opportunities to get a job in Germany. So this is the journey towards the end. Um, that means you see the nine modules, which is always such a color uh, a field, is always a five weeks block that we uh, have heard from Bettina in the beginning. Um, so you have four of those in a semester. Okay, then there is some kind of uh, vacation period in between. And uh, some of them, they are running in parallel. And as you can see already um, here, there are more kind of engineering type of uh, uh, modules and more kind of management and economic type. So it's, it's, it's a nice mixture of both, yeah? like it is for um, in industrial engineering in general. So how does it look like? Uh, in the first uh, parts, you will have uh, energy and sustainability, which are two blocks. Yeah, so two times five weeks, because this will be a big project that you have to work on. And then you will have some uh, management courses about risk management and strategic management. And then the international framework, also different cultures, the international markets and global economics. Yeah. So you see, we have both. We have engineering type of uh, modules and also economic types of modules. This is the first semester. In the second semester, again, a mixture of engineering, like modern technologies, where you start an engineering design project, where you can come up with a prototype. And we have seen a lot of funny things uh, at the end of this uh, section um, with prototypes that are really working. Yeah. So you have to do something with your hands as well. And um, again, some uh, international uh, collaboration, management courses, and then electives. And particularly, I would like an elective is something that you have to, that you can choose. Yeah? So you get a list of four or five uh, lectures that you can choose. And here we have one which is called operations management, which you can do already in a company, which works uh, really fine. And then the third semester will be uh, your master thesis, a scientific work. The duration is only four months, and we have given you some time to find the right place. Usually, our students find a, a, a support in a, in a company which is around the university, which is very helpful also to get, to get in touch with uh, other companies. Um, that gives me uh, the opportunity to explain that, as you have seen, that we have a very uh, condensed um, study program, there was no room for an additional official internship. Nevertheless, we have managed um, that you are able to do the same within your studies. So you have the opportunity to have 120 full working days per year or 240 half working days, that means 20 hours per week um, over the year. And um, that you can do in parallel. So the, the 20 hours per week you can do in, in parallel in any company. And many of our students just choose this company where they are working, for example, for the um, operations management um, uh, elective and then even can continue in their master program. So at the end, you are doing even more work as just six months of internship in a company or maybe in several companies, okay? Or what you can do either more professionally linked to your studies or uh, you can 
for sure work just as a servant in a restaurant or in a cafe also 20 hours per week. Yeah? So there is a lot of opportunities around our area to find first contacts with companies. And as you can see, there are many global ones like SAP, which is just a, a 15, 20 minutes drive from Heidelberg where many of uh, our students are working and they have a lot of English knowledge. Um, you can also continue and do your PhD after your master uh, degree. Yeah, and um, those are some examples and I will not go through all of them. I think you can read them on your own um, of potential job titles. And then you can, if you join the career ladder and you have the same job titles as a manager in, in those areas. Those are the contacts and uh, we have just switched the, the course director uh, position. So my dear colleague, uh, Professor Özdemir now is the course director for this course. And my colleague, Sarah Nea is uh, in the examination office. You see the contact numbers and the email. And um, if you have any questions, you can either, you can for sure refer to these guys who have the latest news, or if you have any questions also, you can send me an email, okay? So, Thank you very much for your attention and I will be happy to answer any questions you might have.